What are the different reasons we'd want to use machine learning, or what are the applications? There's many different applications of machine learning, and one is computer vision. Computer vision really just means making computers see and understand the world. Another very common application of machine learning is called natural language processing. And so natural language processing, or NLP, really just means make computers understand language, either text or spoken. Something else we might use machine learning for is doing regression and time series forecasting. Regression just means predicting a continuous value from negative infinity to infinity. And time series forecasting, that means predicting the future given history. Classification is an extremely common problem in machine learning, and that's job is to predict what class something belongs to. So by that we just mean, say, is Greg jumping, or was he dancing, or was he playing on the computer? That was my LinkedIn post today. Machine learning is usually broken down into three different categories, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Supervised learning generally means that we have labels on our training examples. We actually have a human that is specified, this is the correct answer. Unsupervised learning is generally the opposite of supervised learning, and that means that we do not have labeled training examples. Reinforcement learning is kind of weird, and it's kind of supervised, it's kind of unsupervised. Mainly the idea behind it is that we are learning from trial and error. Probably the most common use of machine learning is supervised learning itself. For supervised learning to work, we generally try to minimize some sort of loss function. And so what that means is we want to try and minimize the error of our model. The most common optimization algorithm we use is something called gradient descent and variations of it. Gradient descent uses calculus to calculate derivatives to iteratively minimize the loss function. The most well-known loss function is called the mean squared error. It's really just a distance metric for continuous predictions. One very important idea for a function here is whether it is convex or not. And convex, that simply means whether we can get an absolute minima, as in the best answer, or we're going to have to settle with a local minimum, which is what we'll usually get. Most importantly, supervised learning and loss functions learn parameters for a model. And by learning parameters, I just mean changing different values in our model as to fit the data. One term that I'm sure you're waiting for is that of neural networks, which we generally associate with supervised learning. There's a bunch of different ways to describe neural networks, but generally, they're just a complicated model. I'm not going to use that whole analogous to the brain thing if you've heard that. It's only kind of true. Neural networks are essentially analogous with deep learning. Deep learning, we mean using neural networks. There's many, many different kinds of neural networks, but generally we classify them into a few set ones. Feed forward, so I'm going to write that as FNN, CNN, which is convolutional neural network, and RNN, recurrent neural network. Starting with feed-forward neural network, we generally think of these as the standard base model that can solve many different problems. For convolutional neural networks, there's other applications, but generally they are for picture data. And for recurrent neural networks, we generally use those for time series data. There's also a lot of very common supervised learning algorithms, linear regression, logistic regression, and a couple different algorithms. So I wrote down linear regression, logistic regression, and random forest slash tree methods. The linear regression is for predicting continuous values with a line. Logistic regression is for predicting whether something belongs to a class or not, so whether it is or is not something. Tree methods can do a lot of different things. I'm also going to write down one algorithm here called k-nearest neighbors, or kn it really just remembers the inputs that were given. If you're close to these points, well then you're probably this point. Now, not that unsupervised and reinforcement learning is not useful, it is incredibly useful. I am going to write down a little bit less for them. Unsupervised usually means clustering. And clustering, all that means is just grouping data points. I'm going to write two common algorithms for this, k-means and db-scan. And this is going to be a little bit confusing without really going into it, but I'm just going to say that k-means is centroid-based and db-scan is density-based. And for reinforcement learning, I'm honestly not going to go down that path. It's a really crazy path that in machine learning you probably won't take, but if you do, just learn about it. It's awesome.